For the directions I'm giving in this video, I'm working with the two disc physical game set and Windows 10 operating system on my own personal computer. Start by creating a new folder on your desktop. Right mouse click and choose new folder. Name it something familiar like the game name or acronym. Here I call it SCK original. Insert disk one into the disk drive, also known as optical drive. You may realize that nothing really happens on your screen when the disk is inserted. This is normal. Navigate to My Computer. Locate the CD-ROM drive. It should identify the CD. It may appear as this, but it may look different. The important part is that it says SCK. Click on that disk drive to open it. Scroll through the window of the game files to find setup.exe. Right mouse click it, then choose Properties. The Properties window will come up. Click on the Compatibility tab. Check the box that says Run this program in compatibility mode for. Select from the drop down option Windows 98 slash Windows ME. Then be sure the box Run this program as an administrator is also checked. Hit the Apply button at the bottom. If your settings were already set to this, then the apply button will be grayed out. That's okay. Click OK. Find the same setup.exe file and right mouse click it. Left mouse click on Run as Administrator. A window will pop up. It will ask, do you want to allow this app from an unknown publisher to make changes to your device? Select yes. The game will begin installing. When the installation bar is done loading, a new window will come up. On the welcome window, click next. On the software license agreement, click yes. On the information window, click next. At the choose destination location, this is where you need to make a big change. In the area that says destination folder, click the browse button. Locate the new folder you just created, SDK original on your desktop. Under the directories for my folder, double left mouse click the C drive, then click Users, then find your name, your user, mine will show as Kellen on my computer, then click Desktop, then click on the new folder, SEK Original. Click OK and click Next. At the Setup Type window, make sure Recommended is selected, then click Next. At the Select Components window, select No, I will install DirectX myself. Then click Next. At the Select Program folder, click Next. At the Start Copying Files window, click Next. The setup will begin copying the files. Once it is done, a window will pop up. You can keep the box, play the game now, checked, or unchecked, but I recommend testing to make sure everything works, so go ahead and click Finish with it checked. The game should automatically turn on. To test if your installation actually worked, if the game opens up after the main screen at the book menu, click New Game and then choose any difficulty. You can click through Nancy's opening letter to drop right into Aunt Eloise's house. Immediately leave the house and choose a new destination, like the Paseo del Mar High School, which requires insertion of the second disc. When the screen says to insert CD2, take out your disc 1 and place disc 2 in the optical drive. Then click the OK button on screen. If you arrive at Paseo del Mar High School, then you know you have successfully installed Seekers Can Kill Original.